This is review lesson 20. We will be adding fractions. So here are the steps to adding fractions. One, make sure the bottom numbers or the denominators are the same. Okay, so you have to have the same denominator. Step two, add the top numbers, the numerators, and put the answer over the denominator. Step three, simplify the fraction if needed. All right, so let's do our first example. So I'm going to do one-fourth plus three-fourths. Okay, remember the denominators stay the same, so I have one plus three is four-fourths. Now remember, four-fourths is equal to one whole. Let's get a little bit more tricky. Let's do three-eighths plus two-fourths. I cannot add these because my denominators are not the same. So I'm going to have to convert to have um, the same denominator. So three-eighths and two-fourths. Remember, when we find common denominators, the first thing we do is list the multiples. Eight, 16, 24, 32. Now we're gonna do four, eight, 12. All right, I see a common multiple. So I'm going to convert three-eighths to three-eighths because I'm going to do eights again. Two-fourths is equal to something eights. Well, I'm doing four times two to get to eight. Two times two is equal to four. Now I can add these fractions. So I have 3 eighths plus 4 eighths is equal to 7 eighths. And I do not need to simplify. Let's try another one. Let's do 6 ninths plus 1 fourth. Again, I cannot add these because they do not have like denominators. So I'm going to have to first find common denominators. 9, doing my multiples, 9, 18, 27, 32, 36, sorry, 4, 4, 8, 12, um, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. All right, there's my common multiple, okay? So 6 ninths is equal to something 36. 1 fourth is equal to something 36. I'm going to make this look like a 1. Now, 4 times what equals 36? 4 times 9. So 1 times 9 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. So 6 times 4 is 24. Now I can add these because we have common denominators. So I have 24, 36, plus 9. 36. I'm going to do this off to the side because I don't know 24 plus 9 off the top of my head. 4 and 9 is 13. And then so I have 33, 36. Now I know this is not in simplest form, so I'm going to write the factors to get it in simplest form. The factors of 33 are 1, 3, 11, and 33. Factors of 36 are 1, 2, 3, 4, um, Six, eight, no, six, nine, twelve, um, eighteen, and thirty-six. The greatest common factor for them is three. So I'm going to divide top and bottom by three. So thirty-three, thirty-six divided by three, both the top and bottom, is eleven, and thirty-six divided by three is twelve. So my final answer here is 11 twelfths, all right? For homework, please solve the following problems and put in simplest form if necessary. 1 ninth plus 3 ninths. Four eighths plus seven sixths. and 112 plus 336. Thank you for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.